Hello, I'm Guy Hudson. I'm a physicist. I'm here to talk about Wi-Fi router or router health risks. Wi-Fi routers are typically the name given for the box that you plug into the telephone cable coming into your house or office that then radiates Wi-Fi so that you can connect computers and mobile phones to the Wi-Fi signal and hence out to the internet. They run at a couple of different frequencies but the main one 2.45 gigahertz is chosen for that frequency because it doesn't have to be licensed and it doesn't have to be licensed because actually the waves don't travel that far. Compared to other microwaves that travel long long distances the 2.45 gigahertz um, only travels sort of the distance of a house or, or an office and then the signal becomes too weak. And the reason for that is it become, happens to be absorbed by water. And uh, in a room, uh, like here I am in my office, um, the biggest presence of water is me. And so if anything's going to mop up the waves, it's me. It's my own biology. And more than that, we've seen that the particular frequencies we're talking about go right into the biological processes. So the Wi-Fi router is a big disruptor of biological processes. And what we're finding, the latest research is finding that more and more and more of our biological processes are electrical stroke electronic and um, the radio waves from or like those in, in Wi-Fi um, do have some fairly serious uh, effects. Um, personally I know that they give me migraine um, and so I have, a, I have a strong personal interest in this um, and so um, they can easily be avoided you just use the old-fashioned wires Ethernet. Um, each cable costs about two quid um, it's more secure and it's faster, so um, yes, you've got the disadvantage of wires everywhere, but it's, uh, it still works terribly well. Okay, thanks very much. Hope you found it useful. Bye now.